Okay, we are gonna try this again. I just recorded like five minutes of video showing you my grocery haul today and something happened. My phone tripped out. So anyways, we're gonna try this again. Can you kind of see my little kitten's tail right there? <laughs> He's my inspector. Okay, anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome to my Oil of Joy THM coaching channel. I'm glad you're here with me. Um, I went and did a pretty good grocery shop for my family. It's my husband and I, we're empty nesters now, but our kids are coming this week. And so I thought I'd hit the grocery store and get some stuff. And since I brought it all home and it was a pretty good shop, I decided I would just record it as I unpacked it. But now some of it's already unpacked, so I'll just have to kind of review it with you. So you'll just have to trust me, this is everything. I did um, two different grocery stores. I went to Sam's Club first, and then I went to Kroger second, um, and I just got a few things. So the few things I picked up at Kroger were, um, I needed onions, but I didn't want 20 onions like at Sam's, so I just got a couple of those. Um, I got corn tortillas. I love these little minis. Um, and just so you know, if you're not aware, but corn tortillas are totally on plan. Um, if you have mission style or something like this, and they're just the regular corn tortillas, you know, a little bigger than this, you can have two of those in an E setting, or if you get the sprouted tortillas, you can have four of those in an E setting. So something to keep in mind. Um, I picked up, this is my favorite flavor, black cherry of the true limeade. Um, I use this for making my good girl moonshine and it's, I use different flavors and I do different things. And so I like to keep this on hand for that. It encourages me to make my drinks that I enjoy. And if you are interested in the different ways I kind of um, play with the good girl moonshine base recipe, just leave me a comment below and I would be happy to um, work on a video for that. All right, what else did I get at Sam? Or I mean at Kroger. Okay, I got vitamin water zeros, a six pack. I um, I don't usually buy these just because of the cost, but I was really, really wanting some, so I went ahead and did it. And then this is my danger thing that I bought right here, but y'all keep talking, 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 talking on Facebook about these popcorn or chips, you guys. Is spicy queso? I mean, really? So I bought them. I bought these. I'm excited to try them. I've never tried these this flavor. Um, I tried the sea salt one and I love them. And I found this um, in my cupboards. I, well, I don't have one right here, but um, I have this little bowl. It's like a ramekin sort of, and it's small enough that I counted out my serving of chips the first time. And I realized that um, it would hold exactly a serving. And if you tried to put more, they would fall out. And so that's my rule is you can fill it till it won't fall out. <laughs> so I do plan to break this up into serving sizes. And I do know that they say that these are almost a crossover. They're real close. So if you enjoy these, you just want to be really mindful. Um, and I did buy two bags because I had never seen them before. And I think that was like a real impulse move. But, you know, a girl's got to do what she's got to do sometimes, right? And then the main reason I had to go to Kroger, because I went to Sam's first, was um, Cro Sam's Club didn't have the Zevia in stock. And I don't know if you all have a Sam's by you, but they've been carrying like a big case. I think it's like 30 sodas or something like that for $16. It's a really good deal. And so I had gone there for that and they were out of stock. And I was really sad because I pretty much have a Zevia almost every day. It's kind of my nighttime um, sweet fix without having to get extra calories in. And so I went and picked up, I never buy this flavor, but I got the cherry cola and I thought that sounded kind of fun. This is probably my main go-to is root beer. I just love root beer. And then um, because of those cases, I had never tried grape before. And I love, love the grape flavor. So I went ahead and got that too. So I think that is my whole Sam or uh, Kroger purchase. It is. So on to what I got at Sam's Club. So of course I hit the produce department because um, that's important. So I got a, a container of blueberries because we love blueberries and they just can be added even as just a little side in a bowl on any meal. Their bell peppers were a bargain for this six pack. And so I got these and I think I'm gonna do some kind of fajita thing with those onions, do a um, oven baked like with chicken. That should be like a really super simple dinner. And then, um, this is like one of my drive through Sioux things. I'm really kind of a purist and overall, if I can, I like to buy organic and stuff, but honestly, you know, there are days I just 
honestly, if you cut up cabbage, you have ca little cabbage chunks everywhere. And it makes me crazy. So I love buying it like this. Now I make this into coleslaw and I also like it for a quick um, egg roll in a bowl dinner or for cabin sauce. It works wonderfully for those. So I cook it and I eat it raw both. Okay, this is a recent find. I found these at the grocery store the first time and uh, I bought them because I've been trying to get back in the habit of making my husband's lunches again for him. And these were just fantastic. They're washed, they're trimmed, they're like ready to eat. And I am telling you what, when I have something in my fridge that I have to do zero effort for, I will often eat it. <laughs> and so, um, so these are the same thing. I just found them at Sam's Club, so they're in a bigger container. So I was really excited about that find. And then of course the obligatory gigantic bin of lettuce that we try to eat before it goes bad and then um, um, I got things for my husband I can't have either of these but they're always such a good deal almonds and peanuts he mixes them and then he usually throws in like some Lily's chocolate chips or one of the other flavors whatever we have on hand and he just loves that as a snack especially in the evening for him all right so now on to my Sam's Club purchases oh this thing's really heavy I found some really fun stuff today, and uh, my husband's gonna be super excited. <laughs> so I found these Black Forest beef snack sticks. These are gonna be awesome. He's gonna love being able to grab one of these and go. And they have three individual packs, so if you open one, you don't have to like race through it or freeze it or anything. They'll stay good for quite a while. Um, oh my gosh, my son, it's so cute. Yeah, okay, so my son is in his 20s, he's married, but I tell you what, he comes home and the first thing he does is he runs to the fridge, opens up that cheese and meat drawer and he pulls out my cheese sticks and he always eats them. So I made sure to stock up. So when he comes, he has something he loves. I can't have this because I can't have turkey. I know, it's weird, right? But, but my husband loves these and they're just great to keep on hand for breakfast or breakfast for dinner. This is like a staple, okay? This is a staple for me in my house. I will add collie rice to so many things, soups, any kind of stir fry, I mean, ground beef. I, I'll just add it to things because it will just kind of disappear into the thing and you have more veggies. So I love, love, love that concept. And then I shook it up a little and got the broccoli normandy, um, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli. And um, I've been into oven roasting, even my frozen veggies. I had never really tried that before and I didn't know that it would come out good, but it did, it came out actually really good. So I'm gonna keep doing that and I love these big packs of them. My husband and I will eat a whole single inside of that big pack for dinner. And then they had amazing prices for roasts. And I'm thinking about probably cooking this when the kids come actually. So that'll be a fun dinner. And then their ground beef was a great deal. So I picked that up. These are for my husband, because once again, I can't have turkey, but he loves these. And so when I find them there at, um, at Sam's, I pick them up for him. And then I found something new today. Now, those of the, you that can't have dairy, I, unfortunately, I wish that you could have this, but you can't, it, it does have dairy, but look at this. Hatch chili and cheddar. Oh my gosh, little breakfast links. I think these would be great for dinner or anything. I'm really excited and it came in this two pack and the ingredients are like super clean. I am very excited to try these. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them yet. If you guys have like a recipe idea, cause obviously I can't have it with eggs. I mean, I think, I'm sure it would be amazing scrambled into eggs. So I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Maybe I'll do a tofu scramble with it. We'll see about that. All right, we're nearing the end. Oh, I have more veggies. That's basically what I've got. Of course, cucumbers. Um, if you have not tried the spa sip that's in the Trim Healthy Mama, let's see, Trim Healthy Future cookbook, it came out really good and it is such an easy way to add a side of veggies to anything, to any point of the day. It's wonderful. And so I've actually used these big packs to make that with. And then one of my favorites, asparagus. This is such a big bag for a great deal. So I picked that up too. And I love oven roasting asparagus. It's one of the easiest sides. And then I can't have this, but my husband has it. So I picked that up for him when I'm there and he has those in his lunch every day. So anyways, that is my giant haul between Kroger and Sam's Club. 
And this should last us a good while, especially since mostly it's my husband and I that eat all of this, but it will make great meals. Now I just have to remember and be mindful of my fresh veggies to make sure I get those all in. All right, my friends, it was great to see you again. This was a shorter video, and if you have ideas for more things that you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. And as always, please take a moment to hit the subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Bye.